Everything you think you may know about the dinosaur's extinction is false. Proven by our team of top archaeologists, wizards, and cave paintings, we have recreated several scenarios of how the dinosaurs actually went extinct. On this episode of Theories of Extinction, we will find out why dinosaurs made terrible electricians with my special guest, David Wolfgang Xavier von Schalecki. Yeah, thank you much, Bob. It's a real pleasure being here today. My name isn't Bob. On a Tuesday morning, approximately 9.30 a.m., 70 million years ago, two Tyrannosaurus Rex electricians show up to work on a faulty electrical outlet. Man, sure, yeah. Okay, there they are. They lay down their dino brand box full of questionable dino era tools next to their work location. They switch sides indicating one dino actually might know what he may be doing. But that uh that apprentice there, you're gonna have to give him some credit. He's got his seat positioning down. The two notice a grand painting of an incredibly large dino trampling in an unknown city and mock events taking place as if they were actually there. It's really a remarkable that this artist was able to create something like this 70 million years ago. Now, uh, this uh, plug on the wall doesn't even look like it needs any maintenance of any sort, so I'm gonna just kind of wait and see what happens. On to work they go, and the intelligent Rex on the right seems to be disturbed, pulling out one cone-like object from their dino box. He pulls another object from the box in disappointment. The apprentice explains how it may benefit this line of work. Irritated, the electrician hands over the object, and the apprentice begins to work out. Yeah, Joe, clearly this brotastic drink energy drink asaurus never skipped arm day. As he yet again shows utter frustration towards the next mysterious item pulled from the dino box, the apprentice tries to show the usefulness of this tool. The electrician asks for the tool and begins scratching his undercarriage. He's definitely getting into that thing. He hands it over to his apprentice for a turn. In disgust, the apprentice denies the electrician's generous offer. The apprentice pulls the next mystery item from the box, and it looks heavy duty. Heavy duty enough to get slapped by the electrician. Yeah, John, he really took a walloping from that backhanded bitch slap of brute force. I could really feel that one coming from 70 million years ago all the way out to left field. The electrician appears to be clearly disturbed, as he yet again pulls out more items of disappointment. Oh yeah, heard most of what you said there, Janet, and I totally agree, it's Who's going Janet? pretty well today. I don't think anything in this is going well at all. Fucked hard. The electrician is sending his apprentice out to possibly grab another tool. Will the apprentice grab the right tool? What are your thoughts on that, David? No, he definitely won't. He's clearly a dumbass dinosaur from 70 million years ago. The electrician is clearly struggling to get the tool to the wall for his head is far too large and his arms are far too short. 
Yeah, Jim, I am definitely liking the angle he's got on that flathead screwdriver. It will perfectly insert itself and electrocute the shit out of him. Prentice's hands appear to be empty. Empty-handed with no tool. This is bad business. Yeah, that apprentice clearly has no idea or interest in what he is doing. I don't personally understand how he achieved his employment as an apprentice or if he even understands what apprenticeship is. Oh man, Bill, did you see that? Quite an amazing feat. He has not only electrocuted himself, but also the other dinosaur. Man, I really made a bad call with that wall plug. <laughs> yes, it does appear that he has flipped the wrong switch. Really does seem like there was definitely, significantly, something wrong with the electrical in that house. But man, was it exciting. This scenario concludes of the two dummy dinos being electrocuted to death. And this, and their demise, is only one of many theories of extinction. Also, a warm thank you to my special guest, Dobbin Wolfgang Xavier von Skalecki, total fuckhead who will probably never be commentating on any of my shows again. Yeah, it was a real great game. I, uh, I appreciate the honor of being here, uh... You know, good fight, good night. If you happen to believe that any of our facts are untrue, comment in the box below. I will find you, strap you to a chair, cut your face, douse it in hydrogen peroxide, and you will be forced to watch a 24-hour loop of Baby Shark.